Right when I snooze, right when I, I cannot lose. What's up, gang? And we back in this day. Y'all welcome back to the channel. So today we got confessions of a door dash. Yeah, y'all know I do, I do door dash on my spare time. But before we get to this video, we need to leave a like, comment, subscribe, join the game, join the game if y'all new. And without further ado, let's get to it. So if you say anything I did, I'm, I'm going to agree with it. I'm, I'm going to let y'all know. I'm going to do with y'all. lack of holes in an abundance of food delivery apps, DoorDash, Uber Eats, Instacart, Postmates. Don't let the hey, gym video fool you. This hey, barbell. Y'all keep doing it because hey, the more y'all use the apps, the more I get paid. The only thing with two plates on it, like the only hub <laughs> in my search history is Grubhub. No cap, I put that on my browser's account. I say this to emphasize how avid of a user of these delivery apps I am. The only person I could think of that uses these apps more than me is my boy Cheerio, but he doesn't use them for the reason that you Cheerio, think. He doesn't that's order that's food, right. he delivers it. I know this because the last animation I uploaded was made almost entirely in his car off of my laptop because I decided to ride shotgun with him while he worked to see what it'd be like to be a door dasher. What about Damn. And it was an experience, I'll, I'll tell you that. Stop, I'm not doing And honestly, I'm surprised I'm even alive to animate this because not only does Cheerio drive mad reckless, he Man, yeah. look, look, but I swear, when she get behind the room, all my, everything, I just get this <laughs> worst feel like, oh my God, get me on safe. He drives sticks, drive. so when he's not cutting people off and hitting U-turns at 30 miles per hour, he's switching gears hard as hell. Like, bro's car jerks more than me on a Saturday night, and that's saying something. Because I practice this dance all the time. Like, this is the only jerk, and I've been doing it for months. I put that on my brassers. Cheerio will be whipping, bro. The only thing that can stop this nigga is a blue shell. Like, calm down, Dom Toretto. You're going to be Paul walking to the gates of heaven if you keep this up. I'm really not trying to make this whole video about his driving, but he literally turned his car off at 45 miles per hour on a hill yeah, and turned it back on when he had to steer at the bottom okay. just to save gas i mean i understand because with these gas prices i bet he'd rather be delivering kilos than food but golly was risking my life worth the 35 cent yes mm -hmm. despite cheerio driving like he has five stars on gca he actually has the same rating on doordash he gets great reviews and he 100 percent does not deserve these ratings my literal like first impression of dashing with them went like this we pull up to this jack in the box to pick up an order. We they don't never got shit. They don't never have shit. I'm gonna have to decline a $20 order because they didn't have shit. Window, he grabs like five bags of food and puts it in the back. I'm thinking we're gonna drive off after this. <laughs> and I hear, hey, yo, yo, put, put this on your lap for me, bro. Right. Right, why did you put the drink in the seat like that? Look up, and he's handing me like, like he has four no bags of food. That's, That's nine right, bags. Though. They gonna place this order? I take my headphones off and ask him why he picked up so much food, and he tells me he does Uber Eats and DoorDash and Bro. accepted four orders, not realizing how much food. He I did that shit one time, and I panicked. Though I, I didn't panic, but it's like, damn, bro, I panicked a little bit because DoorDash time you. And got. But he didn't seem too worried. That was until he confirmed the pickups and got the locations for the deliveries. Come to find Bro. out, both the Uber Eats and the DoorDash deliveries were on opposite sides of town, which is a problem because you get in trouble if you don't make deliveries right. in a certain amount of time. And it would be literally impossible to drive to one side of town and back to the other in 30 minutes. But, you know, that obviously doesn't stop Cheerio <laughs> from trying. So, two spin outs, three risky lane changes, 110 miles an hour, and 15 what minutes later, we pull up to the first delivery and he drives drops off the food and we're good but with 15 right. minutes left on the clock and a 20 minute ride ahead of us not including traffic it was not looking good for us but you know they that didn't stop traffic. Cheerio from trying so three they grand red traffic, lights four close calls with cops and, and one spilled DoorDash order and we make our way onto the oh my god the turbulence of the car tips over this one large <laughs> cup of water and I am just watching as this one guy is drenched the drink. and exactly. soggy one drink. but what Cheerio you says next is what makes me realize this dude you can help you in a car you can help you can the drink it's one drink does not deserve the rating because he with the most desperate of tones says hey yo 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 please be quick put the food in the bag i'll tie it like dog is delivering a <laughs> baptized meal really worth the seven dollar fare yes wow <laughs> you damn right this actually happened this dude just got water all over his order and instead of canceling it he tells me to put it in a yo yo stop the mall like right. nigga back <laughs> you not know let me get this bread no. Man, so with my bare bro? hands, I'm grabbing soggy fries, reassembling. I just realized he can he can repackage the food. What are you gonna do about the drink? It was just water. So he gonna go to the court. He goes over the court. Yeah, he only got 15 minutes. He'll probably say they forgot the water. 
My brother told me he be thinking Dash should be keeping it drinking, and one Dash said, "Oh, I know you don't want to drink." <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. Material speeding. The paper bag is reading Psalms 23. It's straight pandemonium in this whip right now. But finally, I get everything tied what? up. Now. I'm doing, and I got somebody doing that she's in here. Why do y'all keep the drink? Like, the drink? Of all things, the drink. Because that's probably As like we're the we're about to exit the highway, Cheerio gets a notification from DoorDash. Turns out the guy actually can't. Wow, when motherfuckers forget all types of food in the bag. This is order. And now that I think about it, if I ordered something mm. on DoorDash and saw Quick my drive. Time. I went to the McDonald's up here, right? The dude was put off, and he, and he came back. I know mean, what the fuck he finna do. He came back in the window. He knocked on it. He was like, "So you're not gonna give me my drinks?" And he and he like he kind of cussed him out. He was like, "Man, this motherfucker wasn't even gonna flag me down tonight with the three drinks sitting right there in front of the window." <laughs> I told you, like these these so restaurants suck sometimes. Literal some opposite direction. Stop and then head he back like, my way. He, he, was I like, he, he was like, he was like, make sure you get your drinks. I'm like, bet. So luckily, we never delivered the food. But the fact that's that we were about to drop this off. At someone's door. Is ridiculous. Drive, drive, Luckily you know. for us and not the other guy, it freed up some time for us to make the last delivery. And right as the time was about to end as well. So, like, it was mad clutch. We pull up in a rush, Cheerio parks his car and books it to the destination. I do that all the time. I do that all the time. Tell, hey, somebody come. Just <laughs> drop seat and move. And somebody come. Just parked in the middle of the street. And the only reason I realized this is because I'm blinded by the sight of high beams <laughs> frantically flashing in front of me. In a panic, I get out and get into the driver's seat. But I forgot this nigga drives stick. No, but I can't just it. let this dude see me get into the front seat just to not move the whip. I go to step on the brake, but I see three pedals. I go to grab the gear, and I don't see an arm anywhere. Who, who drives like this? Right. I am sweating in this seat. And then this guy starts honking his horn something needs to be done i gotta just move the gear step on any of these three pedals or all three of them at the same time and just hope That's that the car goes always. backwards i genuinely see no other way out of this so i build up the courage to move the gear Ooh. i grab it but thank you right right time. Time is is gonna, right i'm dead two <laughs> seconds away from crashing his car or messing up the engine either way it would have been a quiet ride home right no fucking like this Fuck that. Hey, my number one rule on the road is fuck them. They, they ain't got nowhere to be. Fuck them, bro. Because, y'all, let's be honest. If you mess up your car, who gonna pay for it? You or the, you or the uh, other people driving? You. So I'll be like, fuck them. <coughs> they can sit there and wait. Well, not quite, because his engine would have been beatboxing, but you get the point. We do all the orders and we go home. I'm genuinely surprised he never got a complaint because stuff like this happened literally almost every time I went out with this dude. But it wasn't always his fault, though. If it wasn't Cheerio making See, dumb... See, you don't like a good car ride. Yeah, but see, those are the real bros out right. there with each other. It's the restaurants, bro. I remember this one time Cheerio's DoorDash card didn't work for an order, and the guy asked him if he could pay for it. Like, you asking me for bread? Jeez, niggas. Mm. When I pre 182. That was, the, that was they asked me to spot them. 182. No shit, because I'm in control when I see, niggas. Mm. I'm going to really empty out my clipboard when I hop out of control B, nigga. Mm. Did you spot me? No, but DoorDash gave me your Addy. I'm at your estate now. No M&M, but the driver's just eight miles. Mm. See my chopping your morale less like your name, mom. Yeah. Kick down your door and you ain't come out. I guess you straight. Yeah. <laughs> Watch way yeah. too much battle rap, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After seeing what Cheerio has to go through, I definitely will be tipping my delivery driver. Please, a lot. five dollars minimum. Why you going to app and spend extra for the food and not tip the driver? That got to sit there for at least 30, 45 minutes. And sometimes y'all food don't be ready. No, not some. All eight it's times out of ten, time. eight times out of ten, y'all food not ready, especially on the weekends. And it's at the pay that you got five dollars to tip. Man, come on. Or they deal with some BS for sure, but the worst has to be getting an order, driving over to the place Don't say just it. for it to Don't be close. And it's only my big orders, bro. Another twenty dollar order. I went to the store. They closed for cleaning. But they still pay you. Not Uber. Not 20, Uber but twenty twenty dollars turned to three dollars. DoorDash pay you. I don't give a fuck. I wanted the whole 20. I didn't want $10. I want the whole 20. God wait me that long. Oh, Just like I said. <laughs> <laughs> no! There's no way he just did that! <laughs> That's crazy. But for real, though.
for real though. I hate that too. It's been a brick I had to Alright y'all. But nah for real though, like real talk, tip your door dashers. You'll get your food on time. If it's a wait, I promise you, if it's a wait, we'll sit there and wait for if you tip. Cause if it don't give me if for for if you didn't tip, if somebody do pick up the order, majority of the time they probably not gonna pick up the order. If it's not a big enough order, tipped on the order, and past that 15, 20 minute mark, they're leaving. They're gonna go get another order. They don't give a fuck if it was six, seven dollars for down the street. They're gonna get another order. But I hope you guys enjoyed that video, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.